6 Ways to Protect Yourself from Negative Energy By Inspire Acticive June 26, 2016 Website InspireActAchieve.com Produced by Higher Self You can't explain it, but you just haven't felt right lately. You feel moody, exhausted, and drained. Negative energy is all around you. You've been saying and doing things you wouldn't normally do, perhaps snapping at loved ones. You've been to the doctor and know you are not sick, but something still isn't right. Time vampires, energy zappers, life suckers, energy sucking monsters. Any of these names sound familiar? If you have ever had to spend time with anyone who is negative or sucks the life out of you, chances are you have probably used one of these terms, or made up one of your own. It's not as easy as people think to stay away from negative energy. If you have ever been in a room with a negative person, you know just how toxic their energy can be. Negative energy usually comes in the form of people more than things. For some, the office holds lots of negative energy, for others, it could be family members. And then, for some the negative energy is bottled up inside of them. Thoughts, emotions, and words of other people can have a profound impact on our psyche and physical well-being. Just as spending time in nature or working in a garden can lessen stress and improve our mood, when you're in a crowded place you will draw in the energies of the people around you, whether you feel it or not. If the latter happens to be you, find ways to release that toxic negative energy. It's eating you slowly and will steal all your happiness and joy from you before you get a chance to enjoy any of it. So short of never seeing your family, friends, or co-workers again, how do you protect yourself from negative energy? It's not as hard as you think and with a little practice, you'll have any of these techniques mastered in no time at all. Learning to stop absorbing other people's energies is such a great spiritual skill to have. Here are some tools that could help you clear away all the negative energy and create a shield to maintain your personal energy and keep your psyche clear from the impact of other people and negative situations. 1. Take responsibility for your thoughts and emotions. How you feel is 100% your own responsibility. The universe is sending people into our lives to test us. The perception we have of ourselves is greater than the perception others have of us. You are not a victim, nobody has power over you. Consider how your thoughts or expectations may have manifested the situation that is bothering you. What if the answer lies within your level of patience, irritability, or compassion? Unless we take the time to look, we subconsciously affirm our own victimization to the world around us. Once you hold yourself accountable and responsible for the way you choose to respond to something, you connect with yourself on a deeper level. When you are connected to yourself on a deeper level, you don't get knocked off your center as easily. 2. The Rose Technique One of my favorites because it's so easy. If you happen to be in a room with someone that is giving off too much negative energy, imagine holding a rose between you two. Any color you like. The rose is a symbol of love. You can offer them the rose or you can simply hold it between you to shield the energy. This one is simple and powerful. If you aren't in the same room but just having negative thoughts about someone, do this. It helps. 3. White Light Meditation Science continues to prove that meditation is a powerful healing practice. You can use a very easy and short meditation to protect yourself from psychic attacks. During such a meditation, close your eyes, calm the breath, and then imagine in the mind's eye, a bright white light forming a protective shield all around your body, and any other person or object that you want to safeguard. It is up to you how long to keep your eyes closed, and how bright your light will grow, and as you open your eyes, Continue with the meditation by trusting that your white light will continue to surround, 
protect, and comfort you. 4. Send them love. If you know you will be seeing people who are time vampires, send them love before you get there. Take a minute either through meditation or prayer or just sitting in silence, to send them love, forgive them for their behavior, and make peace with how you feel. Often we have to endure toxic energy from family gatherings or events and not everyone there is our friend, right? Love them before you arrive and you will feel differently about them. 5. Avoid negative energy as much as you can. I don't mean stay in your house and never leave, I mean if you know someone who is a time vampire who is going to be somewhere you are as well, try to avoid them as much as you can. If they are in one room, stay away. If they are on one side of the room, you stay on the other. Why would you want to be close to someone who sucks life from you? You don't have to be. Even if they are family members, you still don't have to be in the same room. 6. Take care of yourself. You can't care for others if you can't care for yourself. It is not selfish or vain to love yourself, take care of yourself, or to make your happiness a priority. Learning and practicing self-care will help keep you grounded and strong when you're faced with negative energy. Don't underestimate the harm that negative energy can cause, learn how to protect yourself and be smart about it. Naturally, the best medicine is prevention, but that's not always possible. I find that when you infect someone with positive energy, two things happen. They either cower away or they stop on their heels and lighten up a little. Try to kill them with kindness first. If that doesn't work, then apply any of the four methods above. An addendum by Greg Prescott from In5D. Of course, smudging is also another wonderful way to remove negative energies as well. Even in the happiest of homes, negative energies will enter our homes in ways many people cannot foresee. For example, when you go grocery shopping, your food has been handled many times in order just to make it to the grocery store, where it will be handled even more by the person who stocks the shelves, your cashier and bagger. The shopping cart you place this food in has the energy of everyone who used that cart before you. If you've ever bought something from a flea market, the want ads, Craigslist, etc., then these items may be carrying the energy of the previous owner as well as anyone who handled it between the point of purchase and the way it was delivered to you. Three types of smudging herbs. Sage smudging is typically used to cleanse, bless, and heal the object or person being smudged. When a person enters a ceremony or other sacred space, sage is used to cleanse energies. Sage smudging is most commonly used to rid objects of previous energies, such as when we buy a used object or even bringing home groceries from the supermarket. Cedar smudging is mainly done for protection and is often used to cleanse an apartment or home when you first move in. Not only does cedar smudging protect your residence from unwanted spirits, it can also be used for protecting yourself, a sacred place or room or object from unwanted influences. Sweetgrass is Mother Earth's breath and brings the blessing of her love. Sweetgrass smudging is a reminder of the love and presence of the Divine Feminine and how she provides us with everything we need.